Hey, what's going on everybody? This video, we're gonna be talking about multi-dimensional arrays inside of C-sharp. We're also gonna be talking about jagged arrays, which are similar, but a separate classification. I did a similar video like this, but in Java for my Java series. And inside of Java, there's not really a difference between jagged arrays and multi-dimensional arrays. But in C-sharp, the syntax is different and they are, they're structurally different and what you can do with them is different. So, Enough rambling, let's just talk about what they are. Sponsored message right here. No, I am not a butt munch. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. All right, so if you wanna see a multi-dimensional array, the easiest one to start with is a 2D array. So when we're talking about a 1D array, single dimension, we just think of a series of values. With a 2D array, it's going to be a table-like structure. So it's gonna look something like this. There we go. So we have rows this way and columns this way. Now the way you create one of these is gonna look like this. You choose a type such as int, and put the square brackets, just like you would with a single dimensional array, but this time you're going to put a comma. So a comma right there. Give it a name, student grades as an example. And what are you going to assign to this? Well, I'm gonna bring it down to the next line here. All you would say is new int square brackets. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put two values in here. The first one for the number of rows, the second one for the number of columns. So for example, we could do three and four. When you do that, this is what it's gonna look like. Three rows, four columns. So if this is the structure you're going for, that is how you would do it. And don't forget that semicolon. Now you can also initialize it with values right away, so that's gonna look like this. Just equals curly brace, and then you have to put a series of arrays in here. So we could do one, two, three, four or something like that. I'm pretty sure that's the syntax, but we'll get hands-on in the next video if you wanna know how to do that. Now, the thing to know when you're working with a 2D array here, you can't have arrays of different sizes. So for example, if for the second row, you wanted to have an additional column, something like this maybe, you cannot do that with this structure here. Instead, you're going to need a jagged array, and the syntax is just a little bit different. You're gonna say int, and you're actually gonna use two square brackets. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna say new in with the two square brackets, and then you need to pass in a size for the first one. So for example, we could say five. So that's saying there's five rows. The actual positions in these arrays, so how many columns, that can vary from row to row. So it might look like this. In this situation, we have three rows. First one has five columns, the next one has seven, and then the next one has two. There's also a syntax to initialize the jagged array with values up front. That's what we're actually gonna show you guys in the next video, so please be sure to check that video out if you want the hands-on uh, how-to here. So I prefer jagged arrays. They're much easier to work with. And if you wanna grab a particular value such as this one here, you would grab the row with the index one because it starts at zero, and then you would grab the column with the index two. So it's gonna look like this. And this here is an integer. So you can use this value anywhere an integer is expected. You can pass it to a method that takes an integer. You can assign a value to it and so forth. So that's your introduction to multi-dimensional arrays and jagged arrays. Talked a little bit about their difference and how we create them. Now in the following videos, we're going to get experience creating these inside of Visual Studio and also how to iterate through them using various loops. So definitely want to check out the upcoming videos. It should be pretty fun and exciting. And yeah, we're basically getting into the basics of collections, which is a huge topic in programming. We're talking about the basic ones here, but definitely want to understand that foundation layer because you're going to get into all kinds of different collections as you go on in computer science. Arrays are kind of the basis. So check out the upcoming videos and please be sure to subscribe. Peace out.